Hi, welcome to part 5 of how to build the e-commerce using Django and Vue.js. In this part, I'm going to go through these different tasks. Show quantity and price in the cart. Update quantity. More Vue.js in the cart, like automatically remove product, etc. I'm also going to show the cart in the menu with automatically updated cart. So you can see how many items we have in the cart. So the first thing is to go to the cart.html and do some changes up here. I want a table for all of this. So I create a new div class with element class like that and a table class table t head th title or like I said product th quantity th price and then I say t body and I want to move this loop up in there and for every item I want to add one tr td where I put the product title td product dot Quantity. Oh, I think it's item dot quantity. TD item dot total price. I can remove that one. I can just no. It can be there for now, so we can test this. So if I go and add the product to the cart we'll see product the quantity and the price I made a mistake in one of the previous videos in the cart.api I can't convert the price to integer because if you have dollars you probably have cents too but I think if I do this refresh you will see 99.99 .99. so we should also have a total price, but that will come later. But if I go here now and add this too, we'll see both of these two are here now. Perfect. So we need to move these two buttons here as well. So I can create an empty up there. TH. TD. And then I move the button inside there, like that. So now it looks a little bit better. So now I think I can go to the to do and just set done because we are showing the quantity and the price in the cart. So the next task now will be to update the quantity. I just want the plus button here which will just increment the number of quantity. So here I will say button at click increment quantity plus and then I want to just copy this, paste it there and then I need to create a new method in the view section below update increment quantity get the product ID like that and just test that everything is working adding the console yes looks like everything is okay for now so I can copy the rest of this because it's going to look quite similar the product ID increment quantity I will implement this very soon and then we can save it so if I now go to cart.py you can see that we can still just use this function so what I need is to go to the API below here and create a new view def API increment quantity request 
I can copy these three, create an instance of the cart. Actually, I already have this function, so I can just change this to true. And if I go back to the cart.html, no, sorry, the product dot detail I can just copy this sorry for the mess and paste it there the quantity I can set to two just to test for now can save and that should be it I think if I refresh now check plus it seems to be working if I refresh now, we have two, and the price has also doubled. Perfect. But this needs to be a little bit more dynamic. So I need to make it possible to get the quantity for the function, which I can do this way. Just add one more parameter here. Plus one can parse this just integer just to be totally sure that it's working refresh if I click the plus button again refresh I have now three and the price has also tripled it's perfect this I will fix this fix this later because you don't want more than this so now we can update the quantity which is great so I can set this to done and what I want to do now is to make it possible to automatically remove the products so when I click here I don't want to have to be refresh the screen to make it removed from the cart so I need to do a couple of changes here so in here I need to make some changes and to create a data array here based on this data okay so what I have done here is to create a new product string because I need to make Django create a JSON string for me so first I create an empty string and then I loop through the items in the cart I then create a new string like this with the ID of the product the title the price and the quantity and I get them by saying product.id, product.title, product.price, and item.quantity. And then I just append this to the product string and add it to the context. So if I go to the cart.html, I can print it at the bottom so you can see it. Okay, product is not defined. Oh, because it's it's not working product equals item product dictionary has no like that no I need to change this to this save and refresh so this string will be used to print the products on the screen so here I can say products which is then pipe safe to make Django print this for me can remove that Everything seems to be okay. I will console.log this.products just to see what it says. And it's an object with these four values. Perfect. So then I can try to make change up here. TR use view for this v4 product in products td 
product now we need to use the view delimiters product title save okay that's not correct maybe if i do this instead no it isn't correct so we should typo there delimiters like that save refresh and now it says drone and this is printed using view so i can also print the quantity product dot quantity product dot total price i don't have this so i need to get this just like that if i go back to views.py i can say total price percentage s item item total price and save and now it is still working perfect so then I can add the remove button inside there but I can't use this anymore so now I can just say this and if I click this I want to remove this product from this array So below here I say this dot products equals this dot products dot filter product fat arrow product dot id not equals product id and then because this will check if the product id is not equal and then create a new array based on that so i think if i save now refresh click this and it was now removed from the cart perfect so then i can also copy this button and remove this django code Paste the button one more time here. Product dot quantity. Save. Nothing is seem. Nothing is here now. So I can go to here. Add to cart. And everything seems to be working okay. But I also want to update these automatically when I click the button. But I can say this to done for now. And inside here, I just want to remove these because I'm not using them. Increment quantity. And here I can loop through the products for var i equals zero this dot product dot length i plus plus var product equals this dot products dot ri so i get this product if product dot id equals product id then I can say this dot products i dot quantity equals plus one. I can just check if this is working. Oh, 21, that's not correct. But it was almost 
I need to convert it to integer. That's working. And then I can update the price as well. This dot products I dot total price equals parse int multiply it parse float price. If I refresh now you will see that this was automatically updated. Perfect. So now everything there seems to be working. So then the last thing to do now is to show the cart in the menu. So what I have to do now is to import something called view x because I want to, because I need to store the number of quantity inside there and not just in a variable. So in the base here I can import view x cdn and then I can just find it there. Is that the correct version? No. There. Script src like that. And then we can save this. And up here with the about, but no, up here is the cart. Here I want to show the number of items, but I also need to change this, set an ID, nav bar app, so we can create the Vue.js script, close it, var nav bar app equals new view. El element should be navbar app like that, and then I can just copy the delimiters tag like that, and the data return nav items dot state num items okay and then I can create the store as well but I think I want to move this over the other like this var store equals new vuex dot store state num items set it to default to zero and I want one mutation mutations is where I change this instead of just changing directly increment state quantity state of num items plus equals quantity like this and this should be globally available also in here I need to set the store to store to reference this I can also do this in the cart.html because I want it to be available there as well so up here in behind the cart Let's say bracket bracket num items. Just wrap it in two of these. Okay, so thing is not working here. Cannot read num items of undefined. Nav bar app. Then I return num state. Sorry, it was supposed to be stored at state. Refresh. You can move this to the bottom. Okay, so we see zero there. Just want to add one product to the cart. So we have it. Like that. And now I need to make this updatable. So 
if I go to cart and inside increment quantity here I can say store.commit increment one so when we increment the quantity we also call this store increment with one okay, test it okay did not seem to be working okay something is not correct here it's probably something wrong inside here somewhere okay just comment out this for now so I can test this open new new of this inspect okay now it seems to be working a little bit no I need to add a computed value here and then items which is a function return store dot state num items just remove the data array like this and now refresh click one you will see that it incremented so that's good but there, but there are a couple of things that need to be fixed but i need to go over this and check it can also copy this and go to the product detail and up here set store store and inside here when the response is done I want to increment it with one so if I go to the outdoor shower add to cart you'll see that it was incremented with one but it still has the default value of zero so I need to fix that I think I can do it by saying cart dot then no that's not correct okay zero I can go to cart pi okay to do this I need to create a new function cart dot get total length at like that and inside the cart dot view here at the bottom def get total length at self and this just says return some int item quant quantity for item in self dot cart values like that that should hopefully be working so now it says three because I have two of that and one of that just make this a little bit smaller click plus there it says four there but it doesn't update here which I will fix hopefully but this doesn't update here because there's something wrong in the code here I'm sorry it was a little bit back and forth with all of this but hopefully you understand more than I think okay I found the error the problem is that I didn't say i is less than this dot products dot length so I, you can remove the if product and then just test it like this and remove the comments so if I save now go back to the browser and refresh just minimize this if I now click plus here you will see that this incremented as well as this one so now everything seems to be working as it should okay and that means that everything now is working and I can go to the to-do list and set this to done so that's it for this part I hope you enjoyed it and that it wasn't too confusing if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below